Hi everyone, it's Julie. I hope you're all doing well. I've been going through my sewing room and my craft room and, and just trying to use up some things that I've had for a long time. And I've had this batik, um, there, it's just a 10 pack, or excuse me, a 10 inch pack. And also those um, canvases that you saw right at the beginning there, those are six inch canvases and they're, they're thick ones. I believe they're about an inch and a half or so thick. I picked out four of the batiks and then paint to match or somewhat match and these are just acrylic craft paints using my mod mod podge to for the sealer on this and this is a matte mod podge and I'm adding text papers just ripping some text papers and adding that to each one of these canvases just wanted to get some texture down and um, add some interest to the backgrounds so each one, and I am putting that sealer on the bottom and then also on the top. Next, I'm putting on some masking tape. Everything is going to be painted over, but this does just add some interest. And this is drywall tape. This has a real interesting texture to it. It does have a little bit of a stickiness on one side, but I am, of course, adding that sealer both on the bottom and then on the top of it as well. Now for the paint, just using a craft brush and just getting it painted on. Also painting the sides. Taking a baby wipe and a stencil and removing that some of that paint. I'm also removing some of the paint on the on the words so I can see some of that text page through. Baby wipes are wonderful, not only for cleaning up but for removing paint. And I really like how the stencil shows up on this the green. I have my white gesso now and a brayer and I'm just adding a thin layer of, of white gesso on the top of each of these just to unify them a little and just to push some of that bright brightness to the back. I have a, a background stamp that I have had received from a viewer and I love it. It's and I'm just I'm not even using the acrylic block. I'm just stamping on it. I don't really need a perfect impression. I just want the color and another thing I've had forever were these rub-ons from Tim Holtz. And I'm adding a rub-on to just different areas, just with this popsicle stick. And these, these are a good quality rub-on. I'll link, like I said, everything down below for you if you're interested. If I can find this, some of these products again. I've had some rub-ons that do have a shelf life and they just don't work after a while. But I've, I'm having pretty good luck with these, and it, I just really like, like how they look. This whole thing will be covered again with a sealer, and, and so these will, will stay put. I have my Stabello, my Stabello pencil now. It's a graphite type pencil. It's water soluble. It's great because it, you can a lot of different surfaces you can use it on. I'm just making some marks and then outlining each one of these canvases with it, and activating that with my sealer with my Mod Mod Podge. It really. It shows up really dark once once you activate it. And I decided I had four more of these canvases, so I went ahead and I and I did the same thing um, with some with the with different uh, mixed media items. But I really wanted them to be more of a neutral color, so I, I use this Vogue tissue paper. Um, some music paper, some text paper, and taking a my modeling paste. And let me tell you, modeling paste has a shelf life because this stuff was I had to re I had to add water. I was able to use it, but um, I'm glad that I did this when I did because I don't know how much longer the, that would have been sitting on my shelf. 
and still be usable. But just added some texture with that through a stencil. Now on to the reverse applique. I'm, I'm taking, I have four layers here and I'm cutting these into five by five inch um, blocks. And I want a different layer or a different color on, on the top of each one. And I'm going to go to my sewing machine now with free motion stitching and I'm just doing a circle or a wonky circle. I'm not even trying to get it to be perfect. And then doing a, a, a design in the middle as well. And you'll see each one is like is different. Now I'm going to have four different um, appliques here. I have four different colors that I'm working with. And so I do have two other projects and I'll show you pictures at the end of the other two projects that I used these appliques on. And my last one, this is sped up to two times, so it's twice as fast. I do free motion quite quickly. I feel I, I find it's not, kind of like riding your bike. If you lose your momentum, you kind of wobble a little bit. And now clipping some threads, and then I'm going to um, cut these the layers this first layer I'm just going cutting one layer so you'll see the green there and this next section after I, I cut the first orange layer off I'm to expose the green one I'm going to cut away the green one um, and expose the layer underneath I believe it's a blue one on this one yeah a blue layer you'll see on this next one and then the next section, I'm going to cut away both the top two layers to expose the bottom layer, which is pink. I'm just doing this to all four of my squares, just cutting away. And then once that is all finished, I'm just going to cut these into fourths. Not even really measuring, just eyeballing it. And yes, I'm, I'm cutting right through my stitching. It's all going to be okay. Grabbing my canvases now and getting them the direction that I want and then going to be adding a one of each color just to the bottom to the corner so it looks like a, a circle basically and I edge finished all the all the way around to keep the layers together and then I'm using my fabric fuse glue to to really get those stuck down outlining them again with my pencil my Stabilo pencil and this time just activating that with water. I just have my water pen here. And then adding words to each of these. Just says practice random works of art. And I put that in the bottom left. You can see it in the pictures. And here's the bright one. And here you can see the words closer and the texture of that stencil. And then I did a tote. Just love how these turned out. They're just bright. I put a, a tassel or a, on each one of these. And this one says, those who imagine create. And then I also did a pillow that says, be inspiring. And again, put a pinned a little tassel on the pillow. Love the bright colors. Bye for now everybody. I hope you have a chance to try this reverse applique. Thanks for watching.